Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm very happy to be here. I'm a neurologist at the University Hospital of Tübingen, and I'm seeing patients with stroke every day. I'm seeing how they are struggling, I'm seeing how their life is changing dramatically, and also I'm seeing lots of patients which got on top of their neurological condition a depression. So, and we got some therapy options, but in general, there's a limit to our options. So what do we have so far? So we have drugs. So drugs like acute drugs, as the other teams already pointed out, for stroke treatment. And we also have, for depression, we have antidepressants with all the known side effects. You might know, like gain of weight, like dizziness. And also, as an alternative, we got surgery. Surgery might help some people, for example, with severe epilepsy. So what number are we talking about, actually? So we are talking about 350 million people with depression worldwide. We are talking about 15 million people suffering a stroke every year worldwide, with 5 million out of these which, are, which remain permanently disabled. So as Professor Zeman already pointed out in his very nice introduction, we have a method which could help. It's called transcranial magnetic stimulation and short TMS. And it's already around for 30 years. It's very precise, it's painless, it's non-invasive, and it's with no serious side effects. So actually I have a coil with me, so to be honest there should be a cable on it, but to make it more practical it's without cable. So what you're actually doing with such a coil is that you apply a elect short electromagnetic pulse on the head. So let's take this head. We are applying a short pulse. As without pain, I can actually tell myself, I've done it a lot on myself, so uh, I talk out of experience. And it's established in diagnostics, so every hospital around the world for neurology got some of these. And it's also already approved for therapy. So it's FDA approved for depression, and there are lots of studies conducted on stroke for rehabilitation. So, and our idea was, why isn't it good enough yet? Why isn't it not established as a tool for therapy today? We were, last week, for example, we've just been to Czech Republic for a European meeting for researchers in TMS. And all of the experts and clinicians in the field were saying the same thing. The potential is enormous, but it's not good enough yet. And we believe that this is because the stimulation is independent of the brain activity. So brain activity, you can record it, for example, by EEG. So EEG, I think mo uh, most of you are familiar with EEG. You have this cap, and what you are recording is the electrical activity of the brain. So imagine it like waves. So you got all of these waves flowing around in the brain, leading to the point where I'm speaking here. And so in the end, when all of these brains are united, you got like the sea, the beautiful picture of the sea. Or imagine like you're having a symphony orchestra. So you have somebody playing the violin, you have like percussion, you have uh, maybe brass section. But then imagine when one of these players is not playing his role correctly. This is what is common in all of the diseases I just mentioned that in the end, it's collapsing. So it's a network alteration. And this is where TMS comes into the game. So what we intend is to trigger the TMS pulse to the EEG. So let me show you how it's working today. How is the stimulation done today? So here we have our little brain. And here we have me, I'm the stimulation. And so far, the therapy is done like this, so it's blind. So I'm hitting this brain. Sometimes I don't. Maybe look kind of silly. But what we want to do is to open the eyes for stimulation. So we want to trigger that we can hit the brain, that we can hit on the spot whenever we intend to. And hereby, we do not believe that we are only more efficient. We also believe that we are more personalized because all of these heads are not the same. Every one of us got different brain waves, and also they are dependent on the current status of mind. So sometimes you're tired, sometimes you're awake. So this is what we want to do. Personalized, precise therapy. So, and herefore, we already brought, made a prototype. So this is what we got. It's like a prototype which you can easily put onto the EEG, uh, into the TMS coils. Here you would then have to imagine the EEG electrodes. 
And what you are doing then is doing the same as you are doing on this head, only with five electrodes, and triggering the TMS to the EEG rhythm. So then, we are here at a startup meeting, so what market are we actually talking about? So we are talking about a market of 80, 80, 88 billion US dollar each year for neuroactive drugs, which is actually a lot. We are also talking about a, a market for neurological devices of 50 billion US dollar a year. We can be a part of both. So we can as well, we have this device, which is a neurological device which can be part of the market. And we are also aiming towards the market to get away from drugs to intelligent TMS therapy. So we have, we have a plan. So our plan is to finalize the prototype, to conduct clinical studies, to supply researchers, clinicians, and ambulant physicians with our coil within the next two years. So, how can you help? It's like the most important question, I guess. So what we aim at is a funding of uh, 4.5 million euro, which we are already having a grant in submission at the Foreign University of Tübingen, and also a grant from the European yeah. Union. So what else do we need for research and development? We need further 1.5 million, uh, million euro in order to realize our project, to realize our dream of optimizing therapy. So let me introduce the team. So we are a team of doctors who know and who, see, who are seeing patients every day, seeing their problems, seeing the trouble, and we have engineers. So we also have the people who are able to really like, perform, the, perform the solutions to construct the prototypes. And we are a lab, we are a prestigious lab. It's one of the leading labs of TMS all around the world, of Professor Zima. And we are already have the algorithms, and we have the preliminary data, and we are looking forward very, very much to your cooperation. We are convinced of our idea, and I hope I could do the same with you today. Thank you.